regulation of menstrual cycle to know that first we need to know what is normal and how we do we really want to play with the menstrual cycle or not see normally there's a range one day to seven days is perfectly normal and 21 days to 35 days to 40 days also is perfectly normal the gap between two cycles how do we count them we count them from the first day of the cycle as the first day of the cycle so from the first day of cycle to the next first day the gap being around 21 days to 35 to 40 days is perfectly normal then what is abnormal abnormal is something uh, what we have to understand is menstrual blood do not clot if it starts clotting that means you are bleeding more than what your body can take or you are changing so many pads in a day that the volume of the blood is more than what is necessary three to four pads you have changed it is completely soaked in that is you are bleeding more than what you can so these are the times which we have to see so how do we keep it under thing when when can it happen apart from any diseased states is if you are anemic Bleeding can lead to anemia, anemia can lead to weakness of the uterus that uterus do not tighten so, so much that you bleed more. Your deficiencies of vitamin B12, iron, vitamin A, vitamin E, all these deficiencies can cause more bleeding. So stay healthy, eat well, balanced diet and then like I said, whenever there is uh, abnormal hormones, definitely the first thing would be a erratic menstrual cycle. That means if you are having a fat content which is more than what is necessary or less than what is necessary, both the ways you can either go into amenorrhea means no menstrual cycle at all or more bleeding because your estrogen is so much coming from the fat that it completely disbalances the whole hormonal milieu and you can have this thing. So if you just take simple thing of de-stressing, all of you must have an, had an experience of whenever there is stress, either the menstrual cycle, either exam stress or any stress in your life, your, your menstrual cycle either comes first or before or later also. So that the fine, fine uh, intricate balance between the brain that is the anterior, anterior pituitary, ovary and the uterus, this should not be broken. So stress by meditation or just listening to music or doing some jans, whatever you want to do, stress relief. Second balanced diet so that you do not have any imbalances in your body third doing regular exercises so that your fat percentage in your body stays under control if you can do these three things most of the time your menstrual cycle is under control if it still leads to any problem you have doctor to take care of it